Sup guys, welcome to this quick guide about how to beat Stormstart Brewery on a heroic difficulty in Mists of Pandaria. The first boss is Ook Ook, a ginormous monkey who wants to create a festival called Ook Fest within the Stormstart Brewery. His first ability is Going Bananas. It's an energy ability which at 90%, 60% and 30% of his health, he'll increase his attack speed by 15% and damage dealt by 15%. This stacks up to 3 times. His second ability is Ground Pound. He'll hit the ground for 3 seconds every 1 second, inflicting 20k damage, and he'll also stone whoever's in it. His third ability is Rolling Barrels. This will happen when he does Going Bananas. It'll basically just send loads of these barrels rolling around, and if you jump on him, you can direct them into him and deal damage on him. The effect this has is Brew Explosion. It'll deal 50k damage to you and 10k damage to Ukuk, and increase all damage taken by 10% for 15 seconds. Now, the strategy for this boss is jump on the barrels whenever you can to avoid damage done to you and to obviously do that 10k damage bit. You can also cast while you're on them, like move and cast, so it's really good, it, especially if you're a ranged DPS, jump on these. If not, get them killed quick because the enraged can kill you. Now, not to sound lazy, but the second boss, Hopolis, has over 12 separate abilities, so I'm only going to go into the strategy. He'll spawn these boppers, which drop these hammers when they die. You have to use these hammers to get rid of the hoppers and the hoplings. Now, he'll also do a spin ability, as you can see there, which you need to avoid because that da does a lot of damage. And he'll also do this kernel ability in front of him, which will spin around and spray carrot vomit, as disgusting as that sounds. You just need to try and stay close to him, like, as close as you can without getting hit by it, just so you can easily avoid it. That's my strategy anyway. And yeah, it's not a hard fight, there's no enraged timer or anything like that. So basically, kill him as fast as you possibly can. Because, you know, the hoplings and the hoppers will eventually kill you, so there you go. Like the second boss, Yan Zivion Cask. It's just got so many abilities and it's hard to explain. Like, it would take too long. So I'm just going to go through the strategy and that'll give you a pretty good idea. Uh, the first thing you need to know is that you'll get this brown cloud around you pretty much every 5 seconds. You need to either run or jump to get rid of this and it'll have 3 uh, stacks and it deals 30k damage all the time. He'll then fill up a room with like this brew stuff and there'll be these bubbles around. You need to click on these bubbles so that you can fly up in the air. <coughs> thinking, which I'm not doing here. Which I should have done. You need to fly up in the air to avoid all damage on that because that is a wiper. <coughs> He'll also do something called Bubble Shield, where loads of bubbles are surround him. You literally just need to kill the bubbles to be able to deal damage to him. <coughs> Which is obviously simple enough. I think you can also click on them as well to get rid of them. As you can see Bubble Shield there. They will die really quickly, so don't worry. Here, I think I actually fly up in the air this time. Yeah. But if you stay flying up in the air for too long, he'll start to heal himself. So you need to make sure you land as soon as you can. And as you can see, you still get the brown stuff around you, and you still need to move out. Way to get it. So you need to jump either three times or move like three meters or something to get rid of it. <coughs> Apart from that, it's a pretty straight up forward fight if you think about it. Uh, you just really need to kill him fast because if you don't kill him fast, you'll like die. It's basically who kills, like, you know, well, obviously it is, but who... It's just a race to like the finish, basically. <laughs> That's all it is. Alright, please like, subscribe, and thanks. He lies to me. Is that a bat carrying a monkey? I feel like I feel like we're like.